YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And boy, we got quite a bit to talk about. Now, of course, the Ravens just came from having the presser that featured head coach John Harbaugh. Um, also, uh, quarterbacks coach James Urban and the offensive line coach. I don't I don't remember his last name. And it ain't nothing personal because I mess up everybody's name, including my own. I think it's like Delantis Descent. I, I, I don't remember. My apologies. But anyway, it featured them. Um, but before then, how we always talk about timing is everything. Uh, we had an episode of NFL questions from subscribers. Shout out to my guy, Louis E. Shout out to uh, Stefan M. Uh, and shout out to Cam N. Uh, they all participated in the episode uh, because it featured their questions. And it was it, the, the, the topic was if the Ravens should sign Todd Gurley. Of course, in the wake of the JK news, that has been a big question, especially uh, with them having brought him in for a visit uh, a few months ago. Now, uh, it was said that the Ravens, they when they brought him in, they weren't really feeling his health status. They didn't really like how it was looking. Um, and then the, you've seen a lot of reports today um, through, through various accounts and whatnot, uh, notable accounts saying that Todd Gurley, uh, he has a lot more uh, wear and tear than the average 27-year-old running back. That's so weird that he's 27. That makes absolutely no sense. But anyway... Uh, Jacina Anderson, she chimed in, and here's what she had to say. She said, in the wake of the injury to J.K. Dobbins, my understanding is the Ravens currently like their depth at the running back position, and the team is not expected to pursue Todd Gurley at this time. So, she lets it be known that the Ravens are letting it be known that they're not interested in Todd Gurley. And I'm not mad at that at all. I, I'm not mad at that one bit. As y'all heard in the question from subscriber video earlier today, as you heard in the J.K. Dobbins video from yesterday, I would not be mad if the Ravens just run with who they got. I wouldn't be mad at it at all. I know a lot of it, people have been talking about Mark Ingram, and yeah, that'd be cool. Because Again, like I said earlier, he knows the system and whatnot. But somebody told me, they said, hey, he was running with the ones yesterday with the Texans. He was running with the ones and he was doing his thing. So, hey, maybe he won't get cut or traded away or whatever. But um, I, I would not be mad if our one-two well, one punch was Gus Edwards and Tyson Williams. Um, now, a, a name that I, I forgot about, or not even forgot about, but just I didn't include him in the, uh, the running back rotation, but I didn't, wasn't even thinking about it earlier when we made the video, was Justice Hill. Because I, I just felt like with Justice Hill, I thought that I guess my mind's been so fixated on the fact that I think the Ravens would put him on IR. But if he is healthy enough to be able to play this season, depending on what the injury is, I don't remember what it is. Um, maybe they could pass him through the roster to where they keep him on the active roster for the 53 man roster. And then they put him on IR uh, and then they can bring him back when he's healthy. Um, so I think if they did that then they would waive Nate McCrary. And now, one thing to pay attention to as we go through cuts, and Harbaugh actually said they made some cuts already in the presser, and when they asked him about it, he was like, but I'm not going to say who. I'm not, I'm not going to speak out of, out of turn. He said, that's, that's Eric DaCosta. But um, anyway, uh, it'll let you know, and maybe by the time that you see this video, maybe some of those cuts will have been announced. We'll see. Um, but usually with these cuts, Ravens like doing them in waves. They don't usually announce like one player, two player, three player. No, they'll announce a, a bunch of players all at the same time. They don't usually do it individually, but we'll see how it goes. Um, it said, uh, oh, what was I? oh, with Justice Hill, if they release Nate McCrary, um, I think that will start to uh, sort of let you know the direction that they're headed uh, with Justice Hill. It's, it doesn't necessarily finalize it, but it, it, it kind of lets you know. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, to get to the presser, John Harbaugh's part, because uh, James Urban, he just spoke about uh, Lamar, how Lamar's worked a lot this offseason, and they worked a lot on his mechanics, his, his footwork, everything from the top to the bottom. Um, but John Harbaugh talked about uh, J.K. Dobbins. He just confirmed J.K. Dobbins' injury. That is the season ending. He did say Trace McSorley is practicing now. Because last week it was Trace McSorley is throwing. But now Trace McSorley is practicing. So that's big. That's big. Uh, especially. And I don't think it's a coincidence. Oh, Trace McSorley. All of a sudden it's cut down day. And now he's practicing. Oh, yeah. Trace McSorley. Yeah, you, know, you know what's going on. Um, he said with Jimmy Smith's ankle sprain, uh, they are hopeful 
to get him back next week. They said it ended up being a little more serious than they thought. Um, and I, you know what? That's cool. That's cool. With, with Jimmy, you you obviously want him for the long haul. Um, but, I mean, it, it it is what it is, man. This is why you have all the, the cornerback depth. And hopefully the rest of the guys can stay healthy. I know Marlon Humphrey. I, I'm pretty sure he's healthy. I'm pretty sure he's good to go. Once he got that groin injury, we knew they, they wasn't playing him no more in preseason. They weren't good. They were like, you know what? Take it easy. Be back by week one. We need you then. So I'm sure he'll be straight. They didn't confirm anything with him, but that's just me, my own assumptions. Um, with uh, Gus Edwards, he talked about how Gus Edwards has already been uh, in a lot of situations where he had to handle a majority of the workload. And he has been. So I know that the J.K. Dobbins loss is big. It's very, very big. Um, but Gus Edwards, he's built for this. He, he's built for this. He's been Ravens RB1 before, and now he is again, and I'm sure he'll take full advantage of the opportunity and, and everybody else who ends up being behind Gus Edwards uh, as well. Nick Boyle, somebody who uh, whew, we have not been hearing anything on. We've just been waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, and it seemed like he was going to return to practice, but then they said he had another surgery to, like, clean up some stuff. Uh, Harbaugh said that he doesn't expect him to be ready by week one. He said he expects him to be ready early in the season, but he said not week one. So, what's early in the season to you? Is it weeks one through four? Is it weeks one through eight? It all depends on your own interpretation of what early in the season means. Um, what the Ravens could do with Nick Boyle right now, um, since he has not, since he hasn't been placed on the uh he hasn't passed his physical, so he's still on PUP right now. They could leave him on PUP, but then he would have to miss the first six games. Or they could place him on the active roster. Then uh, after they make the active roster, they could place him on injury reserve to where that would open up a roster spot, and he would have to miss at least three games. Um, so we just got to wait and see what happens. Uh, the difference between the two is that him starting the season on the physically una unable to perform list, it doesn't. He his roster spot is available for somebody else automatically. But if they keep him on the roster, um, then he holds down a roster spot and they got to cut somebody else. So they got to risk that person being picked up by somebody else, being picked up on waivers, depending on uh, the status of their uh, NFL career. So we'll see what happens with Nick Boyle. Um, he also said, uh, which was a good question. Somebody asked about J.K. like long term. Do we think this is going to have any long-term effects on him? And he said that he wasn't worried about J.K. Dobbins long-term. So J.K. Dobbins is going to come back fine. He's going to do his thing. Uh, probably come back even stronger. So shout out to J.K. Dobbins. Now, this was probably uh, one of my favorite um, parts of the presser. Because he said somebody that has been missing in action for a long time, um, they didn't play any in the preseason. Yeah, I was thinking they were going to practice every week. They st they kept showing them before the game, catching passes from Lamar. And I was thinking, okay, this is going to be the, the, the week that he practices. Okay, no, this is going to be the week that he practices. But he just didn't come back. It's Hollywood. He said Hollywood is going to be practicing today. And that is a beautiful thing. I mean, we had no doubts in our mind, especially when they showed the videos of Hollywood catching passes from Lamar, that he was fine. He looked fine. Uh, but they just wanted to hold him out a little bit extra. Um, as he gets ready and as they get ready for week one, because now it's, it's time to prepare for them Raiders. Well, you got to get through the roster cut downs first because you don't even know who's going to be on their team. You don't even know who's going to be on your team yet. But it's time to prepare for the Las Vegas Raiders. Got to get used to that. Um, so that, that was a beautiful thing. Uh, and then he, um, he started talking about golf and that was it. So that, that's why he kind of lost me. I started thinking about Mario Golf because y'all know I get down in Mario Golf now on the Switch. But um, no. Nah. But again, but like I said, by the time you see this video, maybe some of those cuts that he talked about, maybe they'll get announced. Maybe not. Either way, y'all already know when it, when it starts happening, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get crazy. It's going to be very busy over the next couple of days. So y'all make sure you turn your notifications on. Um, I know like most of y'all got them on already, but turn your notifications on. Um, stay in touch and tune all that in contact with the channel so you don't miss anything. Uh, follow on Twitter too. Twitter is Engraving Viz. You can follow on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, all that good stuff is Engraving Viz. Um, I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Um, and things are using next 24 hours. Well, actually 28 hours. Well, actually no, 27 hours. Um, it, it's it's, it's going to be a bit crazy. So y'all just watch out for it. I love y'all. Y'all stay up. And we out.